Mr. Arif will give you two listening exercises. First, it talks about saving for future. Second, it talks about high cost of tourism. The conversation is repeated twice, you must listen carefully. Then, answer the questions correctly. The most important thing is you must do the exercises honestly. I believe it will increase your listening skill. Uh, so you do have some extra money that you can put away, you would say? I think maybe everyone has extra money because you just use less. Okay. So you just decide in advance to put a little bit aside, whether it's $5 or 50 So, like, change your priorities and and spend less money in other things and more towards your pension? Exactly. Right. Exactly. So what would you cut? Like, if you had something that you have to stop, you know, putting your money towards, what would it be? I don't know if there's any anything to cut because <laughs> not really buying much. Couldn't cut food. That's primary important. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. What, what would you cut? Uh, clothing, maybe. You know, I'm, I'm a woman, so I like to wear fashionable clothes. So that would be one of them. And uh, traveling. I love traveling. So um, maybe take uh, one less holiday a year and put that towards my pension. Yeah. <laughs> one less holiday than, <laughs> than, than one. Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I just don't go on holiday. <laughs> yeah. mm. How about I have lots of kids? Go back to that idea. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I Well, I actually come from a family with uh, a lot of kids. And I, at the moment, that's not working well for my parents because I'm not sending any money to them. So, But maybe in the future. So that's the thing, you know. It works in a chain. I have to worry about my parents. So I cannot really be worrying about my own pension Mm, so yeah. it's like a continuous burden that you give to your children, you know, and it never ends. Wow, yeah. Now we're th- really mixing it up with yeah. other things. I don't think we're really getting an answer, though, as to what's best. Well, it. there are other options as well. You know, you can um, live a simple life where you can, you know, grow food from your land and... And then you and wouldn't need necessarily to save so much. Yeah, be a healthy person and you don't have to like take really good care of your body and then you don't have to um, go to a place where a nurse has to take care of you at early age, you know. I think that's what I want to do. <laughs> I think going for the simple life, trying to create the situation right now to enable like retirement age to be spent in such a simple place where everything's taking care of itself and that excess money isn't necessarily needed. I think that's, yeah, that's yeah. what we should do. Awesome. So you do have some extra money that you can put away, you would say? I think maybe everyone has extra money because you just use less. Okay. So you just decide in advance to put a little bit aside, whether it's $5 or 50 So like change your priorities and and spend less money in other things and more towards your pension? Exactly. Right. Exactly. So what would you cut? Like if you had something that you have to stop you know, putting your money towards, what would it be? I don't know if there's any anything to cut because <laughs> not really buying much. Couldn't cut food. That's primary important. I mm-hmm. uh, don't know. What, what would you cut? Uh, clothing, maybe. You know, I'm, I'm a woman, so I like to wear fashionable clothes. So that would be one of them. 
and uh, traveling. I love traveling, so um, maybe take uh, one less holiday a year and put that towards my pension. Yeah. <laughs> one less holiday than, <laughs> than, than one. Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I just don't go on holiday. <laughs> yeah. mm. How about have lots of kids? Go back to that idea. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I well, I actually come from a family with uh, a lot of kids, and I, if, at the moment that's not working well for my parents because I'm not sending any money to them. So, but maybe in the future. So that's the thing, you know. It works in a chain. I have to worry about my parents, so I cannot really be worrying about my own pension. Mm, yeah. So it's like a continuous burden that you give to your children you know and it never ends wow yeah now we're really mixing it up with other things i don't think we're really getting an answer though as to what's best well there are other options as well you know you can um live a simple life where you can you know grow food from your land and And then you wouldn't need necessarily to save so much yeah be a healthy person and you don't have to like take really good care of your body and then you don't have to um go to a place where a nurse has to take care of you at early age you know i think that's what i want to do (laughs) i think going for the simple life trying to create the situation right now to enable like retirement age to be spent in such a simple place where everything's taking care of itself and that excess money isn't necessarily needed i think that's yeah that's what we should do awesome Felipe, you have been to the Galapagos? Oh, no. Um, But you lived in Ecuador, right? Yes, well, you know, the problem is that going or traveling to the Galapagos is really expensive for us. What do you mean for us? Is it expensive for Ecuadorians? Yeah, for nationals, for people who live in Ecuador, it's quite expensive because, you know, since the Galapagos attracts so many tourists every day, Hotels and food and travel expenses are so expensive, so high. So, you know, we cannot travel uh, there because we cannot afford that. But tourists, international tourists, can afford. That's weird. But I had the idea that Galapagos, it's, so, it's part of Ecuador. So I think a lot of Ecuadorians would go there. So really, who goes to the Galapagos. Well, yeah, actually, if you, there's, you know, one out of ten Ecuadorians maybe might have traveled to the Galapagos, but it's just such a small amount of people. Um, It's really sad that, you know, we have these beautiful islands in Ecuador and we can travel, we can't travel there. So, you know, there are many, many tourists going there everywhere and they can afford that, but we cannot afford. And I think, I don't know, maybe the government or the Ministry of Tourism should, I don't know, maybe lower the prices so that we can travel there. It's really sad. But why do you think it's so expensive to travel there? Well, because, you know, as I just mentioned, thousands of tourists go there everywhere. And, you know, the island cannot afford to hold so many tourists every day. So let's suppose that... Um, if prices are really low, then more and more people will go there and there might be environmental problems such as pollution and, you know, those kind of problems. So, people in the Galapagos and the strategy has been to, you know, uh, to raise prices so that less people can go there and so that the environment is not uh, jeopardized. Mm, That is true. I guess... That makes sense, but 
being from Ecuador and not being able to see your country, it doesn't make so much sense. I wonder how that can be solved. Well, I don't really know. But maybe, you know, we have other options. We can travel to the Amazon region, which is uh, maybe the same as beautiful as Galapagos. We, you can travel to the highlands. Ecuador is quite a beautiful country. It's not only about the Galapagos. It's also about the, the different regions, the people, the food, the culture that it has. So I don't think that... But, yeah, maybe, I don't know, the government should, you know do something because, you know, people in Ecuador, they want to travel to the Galapagos, but it's, it's really sad that we can't. Mm -hmm. It is quite sad. Actually, I believe Ecuadorians should have more right than the tourists to go to Galapagos. Yeah, you're right. But sadly, we don't have. So, mm -hmm. yeah, something should be done, maybe. Hopefully, something will change. Yeah, I hope so, also. Felipe, you have been to the Galapagos? Oh, uh, no. Um, but you lived in Ecuador, right? Yes, well, you know, the problem is that going or traveling to the Galapagos is really expensive for us. What do you mean for us? Is it expensive for Ecuadorians? Yeah, for nationals, for people who live in Ecuador, it's quite expensive because, you know, since the Galapagos attracts so many tourists every day, Hotels and food and um, travel expenses are so expensive, so high. So, you know, we cannot travel uh, there because we cannot afford that. But tourists, international tourists can afford. That's weird. But I had the idea that Galapagos, it's, so, it's part of Ecuador. So I think a lot of Ecuadorians would go there. So really, who goes to the Galapagos. Well, yeah, actually, if you, there's, you know, one out of 10 Ecuadorians maybe might have traveled to the Galapagos, but it's just such a small amount of people. Um, it's really sad that, you know, we have these beautiful islands in Ecuador and we can travel, we can travel there. So, you know, there are many, many tourists going there everywhere and they can afford that, but we cannot afford. And I think, I don't know, maybe the government or the Ministry of Tourism should, I don't know, maybe lower the prices so that we can travel there. It's really sad. But why do you think it's so expensive to travel there? Well, because, you know, as I just mentioned, thousands of tourists go there everywhere. And, you know, the island cannot afford to hold so many tourists every day. So let's suppose that... Um, if prices are really low, then more and more people will go there and there might be environmental problems such as pollution and, you know, those kind of problems. So, people in the Galapagos and the strategy has been to, you know, uh, to raise prices so that less people can go there and so that the environment is not uh, jeopardized. Mm, that is true. I guess... That makes sense, but being from Ecuador and not being able to see your country, it doesn't make so much sense. I wonder how that can be solved. Well, I don't really know. But maybe, you know, we have other options. We can travel to the Amazon region, which is uh, maybe the same as beautiful as Galapagos. You can travel to the highlands. Ecuador is quite a beautiful country. It's not only about the Galapagos. It's also about the, the different regions, the people, the food, the culture that it has. So I don't think that... But, yeah, maybe, I don't know, the government should, you know do something because, you know, people in Ecuador, they want to travel to the Galapagos, but it's, it's really sad that we can't. Mm -hmm. It is quite sad. Actually, I believe Ecuadorians should have more right than the tourists to go to Galapagos. Yeah, you're right. But sadly, we don't have. So, mm -hmm. yeah, something should be done, maybe. Hopefully, something will change.
Yeah, I hope so also.